Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 405. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 398 to 405. Hey, trick 401 to 405 are all about quarterly and monthly reports and showing the difference from quarter to quarter or month to month. Now the first three videos were pivot tables. The last video 404 was with a function we use the sum ifs function and in that video you should go back and watch it. I showed you how to create this template with a bunch of cool tricks. Here I just have the template and I want to show you the formula. We have our begin and end date, begin and end date, begin and end date. So we need a formula here, 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 etc. to go over to this table, look through the dates, find the right appropriate dates for the right quarter, go over this column and add. And then we need the difference. All right, now I'm going to do this using uh, the control key. I'm going to highlight non-contiguous areas. You don't have to do it this way, but you can. I'm going to click there and hold the control key, and then there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there and there, and then I'm going to click up there so the active cell is right there. Those are the only cells highlighted. Get this, you could build a formula here and when you control enter it, it populates all the cells. So the idea is we need to have some uh, formula here that sees these dates, looks through the, the dates here, finds only the ones in between them, and gets the sales and adds them. All right, if you don't have 2007, you can't use the sum ifs, which is the fastest function to do this. So we're going to use sum product. Now, we have two sets of true-falses that we need to build in the sum product. There's array 1, array 2, array 3. They'll, all the different arrays we put in here will be multiplied. We need some trues and falses for the first date. Is it greater than or equal to this? And then the second one is, is it less than or equal to this? Trues and falses, we'll convert those to ones and zeros and then multiply them by the third array, which, which will just be our sales column and it will give us our answer. I'm going to use double negatives to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros, open parentheses. Now I'm going to go get my dates, click on the top one, control shift down arrow, and then F4 to lock it. And then I'm going to say is that in that range, anything in that range greater than or equal to this? And this needs to be uh, not locked at all to relative cell reference. I'm going to uh, close parentheses. I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to copy all that. Notice there's array 1, comma, array 2, and I'm going to paste. And I got the same range. I just need to change this junk right here. The comparative operator in the cell reference. Now, the, for end date, we need to say less than or equal to this. All right, so we have our Array 1, Array 2, trues and falses. They'll be converted to 1's and zeros. Only when there's a 1 and a 1 here, comma, will the 1 and 1 be multiplied by array 3, which is simply the sales range. Click there, control shift down arrow, F4. Scroll over here, close parentheses. Now remember, we started this off by um, highlighting everything, so watch this. Control and Enter populates all of the highlighted cells with whatever it is you have, whether it's a formula or whatnot. Now let's do the same thing for difference. I'm going to click in all these, I'm holding control to highlight in the cells. I'm going to build it from the point of view of this one, the light colored cell. I'm going to say equals, hey, this quarter sales minus the sales from b before. Those are relative cell references. So when I control enter and populate all of those cells, just like that, we get our report. All right, so that's the, that's the function part of uh, 2003, but definitely go back and watch this video to see how we created this because we used some cool functions to get the dates and everything. And actually what's nice about it is these functions here, uh, e date and end of month, if I change this to uh, 4 slash 1 slash 2009 and then this to 6 slash 30 slash 2009 everything updates these uh, everything all throughout this little template done with formulas all right uh, we'll see you next trick